I just got my eyebrows done and one is like thicker than the other one and it it's really annoying me and it's really bothering me because it hurts so much. I mean, why am I going through so much pain if it's not even going to be the same thing? <laughs> I'm having such a terrible today. I feel like a creepy baby because my mirror broke. My full length mirror fell down. You are like feeling really, really odd. So you're like, you know what? Let's just open all the windows in the house so we'll have some ventilation. It was like really windy out of a sudden and we're like, oh my God, yes, so windy. I love it. And then the universe was like, no, you're enjoying life. So I'm just gonna take all this wind and um, it's a, it was, I don't know. So because of the wind, it just like fell straight here and it broke completely. And it was like really expensive too. I'm really sad right now. I'm just not having a good day, honestly. I'm really annoyed. That's why I have decided that we are going to change my entire personality and how I look like. Because when a minor inconvenience happens in life, you don't deal with the problem. You just deal with everything around it that does not relate to the problem. So you can take your mind off of it and then you can create more problems. And you can be mad about them instead of this existing problem which has really annoyed you. Right? So if you follow the logic that, you know, if something good happens and a mirror breaks. So if a mirror that big breaks, that means the good thing is also going to be pretty huge, which means it could obviously bring a change into my life. So that's why I think I should get a new look and my life is going to change and I should also change how I look like. So I'm keeping up with the change that's happening in my life if I haven't met with Matt already. Yeah, so I feel like the best way to change anyone's appearance is with their hair, dude. Like, have you seen those movies where they change their whole appearance by just changing their hair? And that TikTok also like, hair matters. I'm kind of done with this hair. It doesn't look that bad, but all of the tones are just all over the place. And I just don't like it right now. And summer is here, so I want to wear brighter colors. And I feel like it's kind of clashes with a lot of things. So yeah, I think I'm done with this hair. This eyebrow is going to be so much. This video is just going to be me on the verge of a mental breakdown. This is a very angry video. Ah! Anyway, we have this L'Oreal casting creme gloss in the shade darkest brown. I mean, I could have gone with like black and made it as dark as my soul and my thoughts right now, but I feel like that's just not the look, you know. Sometimes you're gonna make a compromise. So we're gonna go with this dark brown and hope that it works out and looks good. I feel like it's so easy to spot split ends when your hair is like lighter and your hair just looks more shinier when it's like dark because, you know, physics, of course. Oh wow, it's like very happy. We have this colorant cream. We have this, oh, nozzle vanilla bottle developer. And we have gloves. Oh, is this conditioner? Shine mask with royal jelly. Oh, I love when they give extra goodies. You know, they write all these like casting creme gloss, like it'll give you shiny, glossy hair, but they never like drop with the results, just like a man. So I don't really trust them. But when they're going the extra step, even though I feel like this won't work, I at least appreciate the willingness to lie to me. But let's see. If it works out, then great. I'm just kind of mad. Tea shine mask with royal jelly. What the fuck, bro? Why is there a hierarchy in jellies too? Like, why can't all of us just be equal? Like, dude, look at this light. Yeah, this is what I'm going to miss about my light hair though. It looks really good like in yellow, right? Like, it looks ethereal. I look like a goddess. So what they've asked me to do is, they've asked me to mix these two together. After put the colorant into the developer and then you have to shake it with this is that like some theory that dyeing your hair is like therapeutic or something because like does it release like some endorphin or does it like give you like a big hope like a placebo thing like since you're changing your appearance your life will also automatically change but your mood also will automatically change is it is it like is there some science behind this okay i think we're done with this so something that they meant that i've never tried before is making your hair wet before you actually start with the process so I was just gonna go ahead and apply some cream all over my face so that we don't get stained because these are like really powerful. Okay, we are all ready. I'm gonna scare that this is not gonna be enough now. It is only that hard actually. I think I'm pretty much done and I'm just gonna wrap my hair and keep that for 20 minutes. 
and I'll see you guys after I wash them. <laughs> oh my god, it is so dark, but I am out of the shower as you can see. See how this will turn out. I feel like there's some shit left in my hair. I think my hair is still like fully brown because there's still like some this kind of Okay. Let's see how this looks like in the morning. I'm just gonna use like a leave-in conditioner. I'm just gonna let it air dry. And then we'll style it in the morning and we'll do my full makeup and all. But right now I'm just gonna go in with some Cody Co <laughs> cut videos because they're so fun. I, I love them. Okay, I'll see you guys in a while. Okay, so this is the next morning and I brought you guys outside because I want you guys to see how it looks like in daylight. As you can see, uh, there's still some brown going around here. It's not very dark actually. A lot of it is very light. Which I don't really hate. I feel like it looks really good. I'm generally really happy with the results. Like my hair looks so much more healthier and smoother. And I love the whole dark brown and light brown kind of thing going on. And it just really feels natural and nice. And I love how I look with it. So this is my air dried unstyled hair. Um, I've only used like the L'Oreal serum, that's it. And they've also not been combed as you can tell I guess easily. First, we will do primer and base. This camera literally makes me look so beautiful for some reason. Like, it doesn't catch like any of my acne or pores or acne marks or anything. It makes my skin look so good. And this is not nice because it makes me feel bad about the skin that I already have. But it's okay. All of this is just superficial, right? Then why do I care? Tell me right now. Why do I care if all of this is superficial? Huh? How do I stop caring? When I live in the age of social media. Answer me that. Okay. Sorry. Let's move on. Alright, so for the eyes, we're gonna do something amazing. So as you guys can tell, I'm actually in a much better mood now because... My hair looks amazing, bitch. Of course, I'm gonna be in a good mood. I feel like my hair affects my self-confidence like so much. It's not even funny. First of all, we're gonna start with this brown shade. So I wanna do like a dark eye kind of look. Like a femme fatale or something. So I'm just gonna do eyeliner with brown eyeshadow. Like a dark brown eyeshadow. And then we're just gonna kind of blend it. Now, next we're gonna go ahead with this bronzy shade. And I'm gonna go ahead with these copperish brown glitter shades. I feel like I should also do a black cartel. See, it's so like. I love it. And it looks so good with the hair. I feel like a cartel would completely change the look. Okay. Can you see the difference? I think it's not that subtle, right? Like this looks so much more and this looks like nice but this looks better I think. I'm gonna do it on both my eyes and see you guys in two minutes while I get my outfit ready. I don't know how it looks like on camera but in real life it looks very much like a Y2K with what I'm wearing. Don't mind the weird angle please. Giving Y2K particle. So to complete the look I'm gonna go ahead and This is what the whole transformation to black hair and my new personality looks like. So now I'll be like a main bitch and I'll start saying no and setting boundaries and not do things that I don't like even if it hurts other people. <laughs> and that's not happening. I think, I think the only new thing about me is gonna be my new hair unfortunately guys. And to answer the question that has been bothering you since the start of this video, no. Your personality might not change if you change your hair color. So while this does not really fix my problem, but I look fucking good. So I will feel good about that for at least five business days until I go back to feeling like shit again. And then what will I change then? Find out on the next episode of Arki will do anything but go to therapy to feel better. That's it. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think that covers it. Bye. Wow.